Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Damsels in Debate podcast. I am your host, Tina. I'm your co-host, Vanessa. Yay. Yay. And we're back from Thanksgiving break. Ooh, Did you have a good... Fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a few pounds heavier. I'm a, I probably am. I, I would say and holiday pounds are packing on. <laughs> yeah, they are. But uh, hey, it was it was fun getting them. So, <laughs> but yeah, so we we didn't have one last week, but that mm-hmm. was because of the holiday. But mm-hmm. we're back in full force now, mm-hmm. and neither of us saw any new movies this week. But Black. I mean, in all honesty, I think there was only one new wide release. So yeah. we're doing okay. But yeah, no new movies, but we did get our movies from our queue done. So let's see, you want to start it off? What was your what was your first movie? My selection was Event Horizon. Mm-hmm. Since yeah. You know, I like sci-fi. And, sci-fi yeah. horror. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what so, did you think? <laughs> so, well, this movie was done in 1997. Yes. So I was yeah. like, okay, not too far back, but not like crazy. They're not going to be crazy with the effects like right. nowadays, like Prometheus or something. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> all in all, I actually enjoyed it. Oh, Actually, really? Like okay. The, yeah. Um, there's a great, great pool of actors. Like, yeah, I didn't realize yeah. all these people are in there. They had, like, Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Neill, Jason Isaacs, who I was like, hey, it's... um, Lucius it's Malfoy. Lucius Malfoy. <laughs> <laughs> he always seems to play, like, a questionable guy. Like, I've never seen guy. him play a good character. <laughs> I also recognize him from the movie The Patriot. He plays the, uh, the soldier oh, yeah. that kills his younger son. He's like, stupid boy. <laughs> wait, wait, hold uh, on because i'm going to talk about patriot for a second so uh we would just like to say we're going to do spoilers yeah, for well, everything that's given yeah yeah but you patriot know people was done are really like 2000 or something <laughs> i think that was like 19 yeah. or something but um Give me a break. spoilers for everything that we talk about guys from here on out um we'll have a list of everything we're going to discuss on our summary for this podcast yeah. but just so you know spoilers for everything patriot oh my god he killed the son and then he yeah. killed Heath ledger didn't he yeah like he Ooh. lost like three sons yeah <laughs> He was a horrible movie. That man. is a movie that I've seen that I probably won't care to ever see again. Just Same thing with me. It was a good yeah. movie, but I'm like, it's just so sad. Mm-hmm. Let me t- I'm going to tell you a really cute story about that okay. movie. Uh, we got that like for Christmas. It was like, <laughs> we, well, it wasn't like a Christmas, like I didn't ask for the Patriot for Christmas, okay. but it was like my parents got like a bundle of DVDs and I was included. And so we were watching it and it was me, my mom <laughs> and my sister and Maria, uh, my sister, uh, had a thing for Heath Ledger ever mm-hmm. since uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. And <laughs> uh, so he died. You know, he gets killed in the movie. And my mom was like, hey, Maria, you doing okay? Because, you know, it's a sad part. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, no. And we're like, oh, ha, ha, ha. And she gets up and she was sobbing. It was so <laughs> adorable. Because, <laughs> I mean, she was very young when it, I mean, I, I don't know when it came out. She was like 10 or 12 <laughs> or something. And she, we paused the movie so she could, you know, compose Cry herself. herself but yeah, she was so upset, and it was it was just really cute. Are though. you okay? No. <laughs> and I was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. oh wait, she's really she crying. Really is upset. Yeah. So, mm. Jason anyway, Isaacs. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to Event Horizon. So, um, I thought it was really unique, like the idea of making a black hole to hell. Basically, yeah, is what they yeah. did because they took it too far, and they like got because hell, like that's. That's what I believe. The hell is not below you. Like, it's mm-hmm. not, you know, hell, like deep below everything. It's just <laughs> uh-huh. another dimension that we don't have access that to. That makes basically. sense. Yeah. Um, same thing with like heaven. All people are like, oh, heaven is through the clouds in the sky. Like, not necessarily. That's yeah, just that's, the belief that's outer to space. The <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that was a cool idea. Like, oh, they opened the gate to hell and then yeah. the ship was alive and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And just the idea of bringing everyone's nightmares back and having them revisit them and stuff mm-hmm. for each person. Usually yeah. Like the guys. So that was. Uh, that was and what was nice about that is that it was it was scary but it wasn't too gross. I mean the guy like mm-hmm. pulling you know, sticking his eyes or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. But it wasn't like crazy, um you know, like hostile or something. <laughs> Actually you know what's funny about that is my what? my whole family knows how much I hate that movie. And when hostile? everyone yeah, yeah okay. and when everybody was here for uh, Thanksgiving at my sister's house we were all trying to pick out a movie to watch. And I was like, oh, my mom wanted to watch Baby Stay Out, you know, because oh, right. after you had watched it and mentioned it, my mom's like, oh, I love that movie. Mm-hmm. My dad's like, I want to watch Hostel. And Ray's like, oh, I can watch that. I'm like, we are not watching that. And I said, if you put that on, I will go home. And Ray's like, oh, is that all it takes? <laughs> <laughs> I am putting my foot yeah. down. <laughs> like, so now, like, because uh, because I was so adamant, like, mm-hmm. every time we're like, now what are we going to do? My dad goes, Hostel. Like, he mm. just <laughs> kept saying that, like, stop mentioning that movie. <laughs> Guess what uh, Vanessa's getting as her secret no. Santa gift, folks? <laughs> the, like the gag mm-hmm. gift. Like, yep. oh, thanks. Okay. Like on Blu-ray even. <laughs> yeah. Oh, director's cut. <laughs> so anyway, back to Event Horizon. Um, 
it was interesting because I was reading about it and it said that it was kind of a flop when it came out. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. oh, that's, it's, you know, that's weird because I thought it was good and mm-hmm. that it's actually becoming like a cult film. It is. Yeah, time. it is. Yeah. It's one of those movies that did not do well in the theaters, but when it came out on DVD and stuff, it because I didn't see it in the theater, but we rented it. I don't remember hearing about it at all or oh, seeing yeah. a trailer or anything. Hmm. That's when you mentioned it. I was like, I never heard of this movie. <laughs> had all the, you know, I was like, oh, the guy from Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, but it, it'd be kind of like I was thinking about it. I was like, either, I don't know how I'd feel. I don't think they need to remake it, but maybe like a sequel or something or a prequel to it mm-hmm. or like showing the ship, oh, the ship. originally disappearing, like the yeah. original crew. Okay. You yeah. yeah. Kind of like how they did with Prometheus and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like I could see them doing idea. that. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. And so. I mean, you you would know how it ends, but it still would be the whole the whole journey is mm-hmm. the part that you'd be watching. Yeah. So yeah, the, I, I think that's a good idea. Um, like, damn it, there was something I was going to say about the movie, and now I forgot. Oh, that part with um, I don't remember his character's name, but Jack Noseworthy, where he goes out. And he has the uh, the door open up, and he doesn't have a suit on or anything. Mm-hmm. So ooh, that part was I was that just, yeah, I was like my heart was pounding. Like, oh, what's gonna happen? And then the guy's like, curl into a ball. Like, I always like, didn't yeah. we ask that in Gravity? Like, what would happen? You know, yeah, like so, the yeah. oxygen. So that kind of I guess you compress because you have yeah, because there's no so that sounds air. pretty painful. <laughs> yeah, that sounds horrible. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that makes sense because there's no yeah, no air, there's no pressure, so your your lungs would collapse mm, uh, yeah that was pretty gross yeah <laughs> yeah that was pretty freaky so yeah that it was interesting how like the ship was live so it was um possessing people i guess or that's what it seemed like yeah. or like like with the one woman with um kathleen quinlan i think it was her uh, she was having visions of like her other son or something that that had died or something i don't remember and no then it was her fell. regular son that um was back home and because they had alluded to it at the beginning how she had been called away it was her turn to have custody or something so she was oh, missing okay. out on time with her son okay so okay. like she was already like missing him and stuff and he i guess was in a wheelchair or something so because she had okay. seen him in a vision like with his legs all cut up or something right yeah so, yeah it's, yeah, it's but been she, a while like, but i remember him. yeah okay so yeah <laughs> I don't know. I guess I would have to put myself in their place. But like mm-hmm. if everyone had come had gone around saying like, oh, we're seeing hallucinations, blah, blah, blah. And mm-hmm. then you see like mommy and the kid is calling him. Why would you follow him? Obviously, yeah. that's not him. You wouldn't yeah. be on the ship. So but she's still like maybe like she was under a spell or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. That yeah. actually that happens a lot in movies where it's like, mm-hmm. you know, it's the thing is going to mess with you. So you, you think that they'd really have their guard Mm -hmm. up and people always seem to fall for stuff very easily when that happens. But yeah, that's just a thing that always happens in the movies. But yeah, they had a lot of parts where the, the doom, you know, they mm. make you jump and everything. Yeah, so. yeah, like jump scares. Yeah. That was another movie where we rented it and it was, uh, let me see, 97. I was like 13, I think. And uh, <laughs> I watched it with my younger brother and my father. And I think it's towards the end of the movie with Lawrence Fishburne. And um, Sam Neill looks all like cut up and, mm-hmm. and burnt and gross and stuff. And he's talking to him. And he looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and we were watching it. And my father asked my brother. He's like, hey, are, are you getting scared? Because he was 10. Mm-hmm. Are you getting scared of this? I don't want to be dealing with you, you know, being up all night. My brother was like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Guess who kept me up the whole <laughs> night? Because <laughs> he was afraid to go to bed. You know, what's funny about that is because I posted on our page saying mm-hmm. I was watching it and your brother commented saying like scariest movie ever. Or yeah, yeah, like yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so it stayed with him. <laughs> yes, it did. Yeah. So, so okay, cool. Yeah, I liked it. I, yeah, good, good. Like, I, I, I wish I had thought horror. of it, um, you know, when we were doing our horror movies, because mm-hmm. I definitely would have said then, but hey, it's okay. You got to see it now. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> Uh, Event Horizon. Mm -hmm. There's a Family Guy clip. I'm going to see if I can find it That's kind of goes along with that movie. So Mm, if I can find it, I'll I'll post it on your page. I'll post it on our page (laughs) so you can see it. Uh, Yeah. um, Again, I did not get to watch Young Frankenstein. Uh, I don't know what my problem is. It's not that I don't like the movie or that I don't want to finish it, but I just still (laughs) didn't finish Mm. it. But I did watch Paranorman. And... um, that movie, I think because it came out around the same time, but I kept getting it mixed up with Frank and Weenie, mm-hmm. which I've never seen that one either. Um, I'd like to at some point, but whatever. Paranorman was on Netflix, so mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why I watched it. But I, I heard it was pretty good. 
It is. I actually really enjoyed the movie. Um, I just finished it this morning, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it was really cute. It's it's this kid Norman who's um, has this ability to uh, he can talk and see uh, talk to and see dead people, mm-hmm. and it's um, you know like through a series of events, these zombies come and like terrorize his town, and he has to you know get get rid of them or take care of them and that kind of stuff but it was really cute there were some funny parts in it and cute characters and stuff and i didn't know exactly what was going to happen and i didn't really know totally what it was about going into it like i just knew it had something to do with zombies but it was cute i, w- I would recommend it actually was it kind of like the sixth sense and bruce willis showed up and then the you know, being <laughs> dead at the end <laughs> yeah well actually they do kind of pull something a little similar to that in the opening scene mm-hmm. and i was like oh hmm, okay didn't see that coming but uh what, the kid not, not that shoots, the whole movie. Uh, shoots the guy and kills himself <laughs> <laughs> no, no no oh yeah spoiler alert six cents yeah <laughs> whoopsie <laughs> no not 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 that opening scene but yeah something kind of similar yep. but yeah I, I would say uh check it out if you if you have a hour and a half or whatever mm-hmm. to kill because it, it was cute i enjoyed it cool <laughs> yeah and what was the other movie that you saw? I saw Tangled. Now, Disney see, this movie. movie, I rented this a while ago, and the DVD that I got was Scratch. So Aww. I missed a big chunk of the middle. So I've seen part of the movie, but I would need to see it from the mm-hmm. beginning to end again. So. Yeah, well, I got this from our Blockbuster store that's closing. So mm-hmm. I got it for like two ninety nine or something. Right. I was like, I've always wanted to watch this. Might as well mm-hmm. buy it and watch it. So... Well, what would you think? Um, it was it was really funny. I mean, not as uh-huh. funny as The Emperor's New Groove. Like, I don't think anything will be as <laughs> no. funny as that Disney movie. <laughs> but uh, I love the horse in that movie. I forgot the horse's name, like Excalibur or something mm-hmm. like that. It's uh, something funny. But I, I, I put down how it, it's always interesting how you have the personification of, like, animals that is mm-hmm. just hilarious. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, in, in any Disney movie, really. You know, like, even, like, The Little Mermaid, they have the, the fish and everybody can talk. You know, it just yeah. makes it funnier. Mm-hmm. But especially with this horse, because it kind of acted like a dog like sniffing out the scent of this, yeah, this guy yeah. and everything and it was mm-hmm. just cracking me up and he just like had this angry face and he was doing all the stuff that a horse wouldn't do uh-huh. um, he reminded me a little bit of the horse samson maybe was his name the one in uh sleeping beauty yeah Prince Philip's horse. Yeah. yeah yeah no <laughs> carrots <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, there was really beautiful scenery and mm-hmm. animation with that. Um, yeah. This is obviously it's a computer animation. You right, know, I think right. the Princess and the Frog was the last... Uh, yeah, 2D one. Yeah, yeah, 2D animation. Yeah, exactly. I was trying to think of the name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I thought it was a really unique take on the Rapunzel story. Yeah, Because you know, basically yeah. we knew the whole let down your hair thing. We didn't know like the, the story behind it. So right, I thought yeah. that was kind of cool how it um, had like her hair had healing mm-hmm. capabilities and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was just a cute movie. Like, uh, I posted how yeah. I had watched it and a couple of my, um, friends commented saying like, Oh, I love that movie too. Mm-hmm. You know? And they're, a couple of them are older than me. You know, they yeah. love that movie. And this other girl said like, I had a Rapunzel party for my daughter, you know? Oh, so, really? Yeah. So, um, it's a popular movie. So I said, yeah, once I have kids, I'll have them watch it. You know, just yeah, like the other yeah. classic Disney movies. Oh, yeah, so like I'll have them watch those <laughs> too. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was cute. It made me laugh. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to borrow that because I, d- I do want to just watch the entire thing. Because mm-hmm. uh, I remember liking what I saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, need to see the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, speaking of Disney movies, I did, over the break, I watched Hercules again. The the <laughs> Disney Hercules. and What's the matter oh, with these scissors? I, yeah, that movie... <laughs> Freaking Hades, uh, James Wood. Uh, just, uh, like he's like one of my favorite Disney characters. Mm-hmm. He he gets so pissed off and like I can relate to that so easily. <laughs> but he's just so hilarious. He has the a whole great movie voice is hilarious. Too. Yeah, yeah. That yes, I Hades, love that movie. Lord of the Dead. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the, I I love that movie. That's another movie with the Pegasus, the, the horse with the oh thing, you yeah know, yeah Pegasus yeah. Really funny too. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, I really like that one, but I, I watched that. Megara. I don't know why I watched it, but <laughs> yeah, I watched that over the over the break. I'm a damsel. I'm in distress. I can handle this. Have a nice day. And he's day. like, uh, oh, uh. <laughs> he's just completely <laughs> dumbfounded. <laughs> yeah, very uh, cute Oh, what's movie. the one line I would always laugh at? She's like, um, has he got any um, vocabulary that c- goes along with those rippling pectorals? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of little inside things. Like there's yeah. a joke about Oedipus in there, and then the uh-huh. um, Venus, uh, uh, the statue, and yeah, there's, there's a bunch of cute Looks things in there. That way. <laughs> mm-hmm. The what is it? The Thebes, I think, where they go. It's the mm-hmm. big olive. <laughs> Didn't I? Um, 
Oh, I quoted you like someone had like a long coat on or something. I was like, hey, you want to buy a sundial? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Good oh, movie. Yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> I also I also watched actually a bunch, and I, I'm not going to go into detail because I've already seen all these movies. But I watched uh, watched the Grinch, the, mm-hmm. the Dr. Seuss Grinch movie. Um, it's only like 25 minutes or something. It's pretty short. Mm-hmm. And then I watched um, This Christmas and Nothing Like the Holidays. And then I watched Jeez. something else. Oh, Christmas Vacation. So, so you watched all yeah. these movies, but you couldn't finish Young Frankenstein. Yeah. Well, I wasn't. I was at my parents' house, so mm. I had to watch. Mm. And like Christmas Vacation, I always watch that on Christmas Eve with my family. Mm-hmm. But I was outvoted, so I had to watch. <laughs> <laughs> so this is yeah, a, a democracy. <laughs> yeah, majority rules. So oh well. But yeah, I checked those out too. Um, that was it for movies, though, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know if the. Uh, the sound of music thing counts as TV or as movie. I guess TV. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll save we'll that just for briefly TV. Briefly mention that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but let's see, movie news. Oh boy, there was some very mm, sad news yeah. lately. You know, it's funny how they say that celebrity deaths come in threes. So you've got you know Nelson Mandela who passed away mm-hmm. um, two days ago. Yeah, I think so. And yeah, he was ninety five. That's that's uh wow. Um, so yeah, you got him and, and then Paul Walker on what was that Saturday or something yeah yeah. and I was trying to figure out because I remember the kid from Glee died Mm -hmm. like a couple months ago yeah yeah yeah. and I'm like is that it now or were there other deaths in between that I just don't remember (laughs) yeah see I can't think of it so I'm hoping that still stands out was Michael Clark Duncan but that was like a year ago or something yeah yeah yeah, exactly. So who knows? And that's just a superstition yeah. thing anyway. But yeah. yeah, it's very sad to hear about both of those mm-hmm. um, for sure. Um, I mean, I don't really want to get too much into Nelson Mandela because, I mean, we're more of a <laughs> movie podcast. News, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But no, that's uh, very sad. It was very um, influential and big deal. Of course, they had that deal. movie about him. Yeah, I think out, there's so. two. There's one, <clears throat> excuse me, there's one supposed to come out that Jennifer Hudson is in and she's playing his wife. So I guess it's more of like her side of the story or something Mm, like that. And then there's the one, I don't remember who directed it, but it's got, um, Oh, who does it have? I think it's Naomi Harris. And then of course my, my man, (laughs) Idris Elba is playing Nelson Mm -hmm. Mandela, uh, which is coming out also, but I I don't remember who, who directed it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I wonder how those are going to do now, you know, especially with Isn't everything happening. Isn't that weird how they made those movies and they're coming out soon and and he just now yeah. passed away? Yeah, yeah, it's it is kind of weird. ironic, really. Mm-hmm. Like now everyone's focused on it, so now these movies will kind of get a boost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's, it's like, like it's not a know? boost. <laughs> Do they have a DeLorean? Well, I mean, I know, you know, he's 95 and he, he wasn't doing all that well, but okay. still just the timing is still pretty, pretty weird. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. But, um, yeah, moving on from that, uh, the Paul Walker. Oh, that was so sad so to hear. And yeah. such a preventable thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't speed. You know, it's not like yeah. a hard thing. And they're both, both of the men were professional drivers and all that stuff. But still, I mean, that, that goes to show you. I read somewhere that it was something that happened with the car. It wasn't that he lost control, like the mm-hmm. car malfunctioned. I heard something. that too, but speed was also a big factor. Like, they wouldn't have you know slid yeah. into a tree and then and i was listening to christopher ty's podcast he was talking about it how porsche you know the porsche is made of like this really lightweight material to be right. fast so it doesn't really provide much protection and yeah. the um the gas tank is right in the middle of the car like right underneath oh, okay. the passenger seat you know oh, so it's, okay. it's, it's it's right there you know if you get so a collision, it's like, if yeah. you're yeah if you're in a collision and, like everyone's like why do they want to torture themselves like they had video of it and they saw like a shadow and like oh that's him he wants he's trying to get out he's he's uh burning and on fire like no like like, no, I, I'm, uh, uh, FYI, everybody, I have really bad morbid curiosity. I don't yeah. like, l- l- you know, delving into personal stuff of celebrities and stuff, but mm-hmm. just, I just wanted to know. Um, uh, but uh, the, uh, f- accounts of the people that were actually there, the, they were, un- um, the driver was dead on, on impact, so mm-hmm. he didn't feel anything good for him. Uh, and then Paul Walker was unconscious, so he didn't, probably didn't really feel anything. Yeah. So that's you know good in a way i mm-hmm. guess but yeah the um that's uh yeah that's, that's pretty sad news um i've never heard anything about him that was uh you know like scandalous stuff mm-hmm. besides him i think he dated somebody that was really really young 
but yeah people bringing that shit up too like come on like why yeah. you gotta dig up old dirt you know on a guy exactly like, why can't you just honor his memory and respect his family and right stuff? right exactly and he's uh, from what i hear he's a very charitable person yeah. so that that that's that's good you know and uh but yeah very very sad news and of course everybody knows um, you know, besides just somebody dying is always awful and something so preventable too. Mm -hmm. But I love <laughs> the Fast and the Furious series and yeah. now they, that it's completely unprecedented. Like mm -hmm. I have no idea what they're going to do. There's a couple different options, but they're in like a no win situation mm -hmm. with that whole thing. It was weird to say it said that, that like this week they were going to start filming like his key scenes and everything. Yeah. So it just happened right and before and filming yeah. the scenes. So. And yeah, and they, they were well into production too. Mm -hmm. So, so then there's some massive uh, I rewrites. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they can either like just stop with what they have and rewrite the movie, or they could recast the role, which I think would be like the stupidest thing no, ever. No, they won't do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, or they could be, try to work around it. That would be a good twist in the movie to have to kill off a main character. I think we had discussed that, didn't mm -hmm. we? Like, I think you had said though that he and Mia would be the ones to not die. Like. They'd be oh, the last ones or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, a long time ago. Yeah, when we yeah. were discussing it. Yeah. Um, so it but, could end up being a good thing, you know, depending on the rewrite and everything. But like me personally, not to be insensitive or anything mm -hmm. like that, but just looking at the movie series right. as it is and him as a person, I would think would want the series to finish or whatever. Right, yeah. Um, I think they should, or if they could find a way to kill the character off, because mm -hmm. I think it would make more of an impact and it's still. Because he's he's pretty much the core of those movies. Mm -hmm. Right under him is you know Dom, uh, Vin yeah. Diesel's character. But uh, his character is, is the you know that's what gets you into these movies in the first place, and the, how you meet all these characters. So for him to die would be you know devastating to the series. Mm -hmm. So I I again I have no idea what they're going to do. I know that they shut down production until they can figure yeah. out what they're going to do. Yeah. So that movie uh, is not going to be coming out <laughs> next mm -hmm. July. I think it was when it was supposed to come out. So that's been pushed back. I have no idea what's going to happen with that. But yeah, very sad to hear. I was trying to think of what my favorite Paul Walker movie is besides mm -hmm. one of these movies. Because, you know, he was in all those like varsity blues and she's, uh, was it? She's, she's, she's all that. Remember that movie? Oh, he was in that. Yeah, he was. He was like oh. the bad guy in it. I saw that like once. Oh, yeah, I don't okay. That. <laughs> yeah, he was um, like, like a, a jock or something. Yeah, he was okay. like the jerk friend that like made the bed or whatever. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I think I do remember him now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's been in quite a few movies. I think probably my favorite. Um, did you see Running Scared? No. Oh, it's um, it's a good movie. It's it's actually it's when I first saw it, I was like, what the hell is this? But <laughs> it's 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 a pretty pretty good movie, and it's um, he's in it, and it's not one of his stereotypical roles. It's more of like a I'm like oh, he can actually act pretty well. Mm -hmm. Not not to sound mean or anything, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So I would say that's probably my favorite, aside from the Fast and Furious series. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sad news. But I I wonder. I'll be very curious to see what they're going to do with the series now. Yeah. yeah. So it's sad. <laughs> But moving on, um, so do you have a, uh, well, actually, before we get to your Tom Hiddleston moment, <laughs> um, I think we should bring up, kind of sort of related to the Fast and Furious series, um, they have cast uh, Wonder Woman for this new, uh, what, I don't even know if it has a name, but the Batman versus Superman mm, movie. Okay. <laughs> and it's... Uh, I looked up her name and I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't want to sound like an ignorant jackass. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to say the actress who plays Giselle from Fast and Furious has been cast as Wonder Woman. Mm. Yay for that. Congrats mm. to her. She's gorgeous. But, yeah, yeah, she's very gorgeous. Um, I have never seen her in anything else so I don't really know like her acting ability mm -hmm. and that role isn't <coughs> excuse me that role isn't really a um there's not a lot of range in that role, so I don't know how she is. But, I mean, obviously she must have impressed them at her audition mm -hmm. or whatever. I definitely think she needs to hit the boot camp, though, because yeah. she looks like a model. She's very, very bony. And mm -hmm. so, and I know Wonder Woman's like a, she's from the Amazon. And she's like muscular and all that shit. So, um, but I, I think that'll probably be okay. Mm -hmm. But I just, I was, I had no idea they were going to have Wonder Woman in this movie. Yeah, I had no so, idea either. So, yeah, I'm really curious to see how that's going to go. Because to me, Wonder, like, I don't really, 
again, I don't know anything about comic books, but the idea of Wonder Woman is kind of ludicrous. Super, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, she's fights in a bathing suit and no. <laughs> so I'll be very curious to see how how they handle that. I have no idea. I mean, I think they did a good job with the Superman costume, you know, instead of going for the blue tights and the red yeah. you know, bikini, whatever it was, bottom, mm-hmm. like they switched it around. So I'm sure yeah. they'll do something with her They costume have to, because to me, it's so just, yeah, it's man like, candy, you know, exactly, it <laughs> exactly, exactly. So yeah, they definitely will. I just, I wonder what it's going to be. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. What, what do you think about the casting? I I don't know. I'm kind of like with the whole Ben Affleck thing. Like, I, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but mm-hmm. give her a shot, you know? Yeah, I'm definitely, like, I have no idea about that movie. As of, as it is right now, I'm very skeptical, mm-hmm. but I'm definitely going to go see it. <laughs> so we'll see in, what is it, yeah. 2015 or whatever yeah. when it's supposed to come out? Yeah, I've never seen any of the Linda Carter. No, uh, I haven't Woman. either. I haven't seen anything Wonder Woman, so I had nothing to compare it to, mm-hmm. and I've never read the comics, so mm-hmm. I don't really even know like what she's known for other than, like, can she fly? I think she can fly. She right drives now, like, an invisible yeah. plane. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the stuff I know about Wonder Woman, I don't really like, <laughs> so that's why I'm really skeptical. Okay. But still going to go see it when it comes out. Go opening weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, moving on from that, Tom Hiddleston, what's going on? (laughs) Um, I thought I had mentioned this before, but Uh um, they they had an article about it again. But in case I didn't mention it, um, he's going to be voicing uh, Captain Hook in an upcoming Tinkerbell movie (laughs) called The Pirate Fairy. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cute, you know, because I don't think he's done anything like animation. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention that with Tangle, they had... Uh um, Clay. Uh, oh, Ron it? Perlman. Ron Perlman. He, uh-huh. he played one of the uh, one of the brothers, like the uh-huh. Marley brothers that uh, take off with the guy. And I recognize yeah. his voice right away. Like, hey, it's Ron Perlman. So, <laughs> actually, I think I said Clay then, too. Oh. Like, oh, I can't <laughs> wow. think of his name for some reason. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Um, he's going to be Captain Hook, so that should be interesting. <laughs> now, is that going to be a Disney movie? Or is it just a, a yeah, Peter I think, Pan movie? I think Tinkerbell is owned by Disney, so yeah, I think it's another. But they have like so many Tinkerbell movies out, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. But this is the next in line, so yeah, I think it's Disney. Oh, I mean, he seems like a perfect person for voice, mm-hmm. you know, acting. So that's that that should be good because he's sense, yeah. he's yeah he's got a good voice and he'll be playing a villain. So mm-hmm. that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When's that supposed to come out? Oh, did I it didn't say or? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't look cool. that far into it. I just saw that. I was like, oh, that'll be cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's interesting. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be like a directed DVD kind of movie. Could or be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, Sme! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Lost it, Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyway. see, he'll make it sound sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right. Anyway, moving on uh, into TV land. <laughs> so what, what what you got going on for TV? Uh, my main thing, I mean, uh, I started out with Almost Human, mm-hmm. which um, I caught up and I watched a couple more episodes. Um, they just had one this past Monday. How many episodes are there of that there's, show? Okay, they got the first one. I think there's four total oh, now. Pff, I'm yeah. like two episodes behind. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have it on demand. I didn't. Oh, um, okay. Um, I don't think I recorded it. So. Okay. Okay, yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> almost human is actually. I, it's becoming a, a new favorite of mine. Uh-huh. It's um, the acting is good. The they have this camaraderie between Michael Ely and Carl Urban that's mm-hmm. really funny. Like mm-hmm. the way they like act with each other. They like they're each other's halves. Like it's, You're right, it's yeah. really funny. Like it's it's fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, it's similar to Sleepy Hollow in that they have like something going on that's resolved at the end of each episode. Yeah. But what's different is that they they're all related to a similar thing like that they introduce in the the pilot that mm-hmm. like a crime that happened how Carl Urban had lost his leg and stuff. Yeah, and it's yeah. All the way back to that which with sleepy hollow it is related to the the full event but they're all so different all these uh-huh. in in sleepy hollow all the supernatural things are uh-huh. all so very different from each other it's hard to connect them whereas right. with almost human it's a series it's all related but like back to drugs or back to crime mm-hmm. you know yeah so, yeah and they're cops and everything so i like it mm-hmm. so <laughs> yeah um, i'm gonna try to watch those two or i might just wait and watch because yeah i like that show and it's it definitely has potential but uh, i'm trying to chill with my tv shows a little bit Mm -hmm. although a lot of stuff is ending too um so we'll see but yeah i I definitely want to watch those two other episodes Mm -hmm. i can stay 
up to date. <laughs> and for the for a TV show, the technology and stuff like the effects are really good too. Mm-hmm. That, like I like the futuristic stuff they have going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like he had gotten a bullet ricochet on the side of his head, and you could see like all the electronics. On his head. <laughs> oh, like, really? oh, that looked pretty cool. And like Carl Urban had to patch him up with some gum and stuff. It was gum, really? really? Wow. <laughs> and it's funny because he like woke back up and he touched. He's like, ew. <laughs> 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 so it's yeah it's it's a cute show like well i don't know if cute is a good word to describe it, but it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's fun to watch it's yeah it's a cute show <laughs> i stand by that yeah <laughs> I stand by that statement all right cool cool um oh uh so walking dead is oh uh, yeah i didn't even I forgot about walking yeah dead. i did too <laughs> till just like a minute ago but walking dead now they they, they had their mid-season finale mm-hmm. so they're not going to be back till february i think <sighs> So now I didn't watch the episode before this one with the governor meeting up with his new crew or Mm -hmm. whatever. And, you know, it didn't matter because I was able to follow the episode perfectly. (laughs) Did you watch that episode? I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, Yeah. I skipped it because I'm like, I don't have time for this stupid Phil shit. (laughs) But what did you think? of? Well, I mean, that episode, it was more about um, him just getting the convincing the people to go with him Mm -hmm. over to the prison. That's what he like blamed stuff on Rick that, you know, like they had found that camp that had been massacred and he blamed it on rick's team oh yeah so but and they didn't you know it's like all these people have no uh no class or whatever he said like they have no um conscience Mm -hmm. so like so so we can take and then his little wifey whatever is like why do we have to do that he's like we're not safe he's like saying i gotta keep penny safe or whatever yeah not penny the other girl the the new penny (laughs) yeah the new penny yeah penny 2.0 um so anyway that wasn't very important but yeah um, I was able to follow the new one. Yeah. So what did you think of the mid-season finale, though? It, it Some stuff was expected, but other yeah. stuff wasn't. You know, we're going to go into detail, right? Like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, what sucks is that one of my friends had posted on Facebook about, they had just said, like, no, Herschel. Oh, you know? So yeah, I yeah. kind of was expe- like, oh, like, thanks a lot. Now I'm expecting Herschel to be killed, mm-hmm. you know? But the thing is, as I was watching, I was like, you know, I would have seen that coming, though, because when Rick is talking mm-hmm. and the and the governor is slowly pulling the sword away, I'm like, he's not convinced. He's going to turn around and kill him anyway. Yeah. Like, I would have thought that anyway. Mm-hmm. So um, it wasn't totally ruined. Yeah, my money was definitely on Herschel not making yeah. it to the to the second half of the season. Yeah. I do really like that character, so I'm a little sad that he died, mm-hmm. but it wasn't a big thing because I knew it was coming for sure. I mean, someone had posted out how he had said, he had quoted that line saying that um, like every day you risk dying when you go outside so mm-hmm. the, the fact you got to remember is um what is worth dying for yeah you know yeah. and so like he he was kind of smiling when he was listening to rick saying like we can live together and he kind of like he was proud of rick for being mm-hmm. able to not be so proud and be like we can all live together you know we can right. be peaceful so yeah 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 so that was kind of you know a good ending mm-hmm. for her show in a way <laughs> Yeah, I knew he was going to die. I knew, I was pretty sure uh, Michonne was going to kill or stab the governor. See, I wasn't sure. I didn't, I oh, mean, really? she had said, like, I'm going to kill you, you know, but I thought, like, maybe they would uh, somehow keep the governor alive. Like, when he had shot him and left him, I was like, oh, why didn't he finish him off? You know, he's going to crawl away and live. But yeah. then, Mich- like, Michonne, like, ah, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> he yeah. got him, so. <laughs> Taking care of business. Yeah. Now, I, <clears throat> I wonder... Since Herschel was decapitated, mm-hmm. would his head be alive as a zombie? Yeah, because the brain is still intact. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. is there like a Herschel head like <laughs> on the ground? Yeah, because you know? that's um, the governor had the heads in the, uh, uh-huh. in the thing. Remember there was yeah. one? So yeah, yeah, the head would be alive. <laughs> Somebody so needs to take care of that. Yeah, so there, there is a Herschel head. Yeah, I don't want Beth there or Maggie walking yeah. around outside and seeing that. <laughs> you had a theory about um, the thing with Carol that I oh. totally did not see. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I, explain that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that was just something that I thought maybe just because, uh, who was it? Tyrese found that, what was it? A rabbit yeah. or a rat or a something rat, was all like dissected and mm-hmm. looking gross. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so somebody in the camp did that obviously. And that girl, I don't remember her name, but the little girl who's, dad died or whatever mm-hmm. she like totally shot that woman in the head so Point she's blank, yeah. yeah so i was wondering was she did she have something to do with i don't remember the people's names but the ones that were sick that got yeah. that carol supposedly burned or whatever mm-hmm. could she have something to do with that i don't know and then like would so you know carol was covering for her i don't know like it just 
it there's definitely more to the whole Carol storyline. Mm-hmm. I just don't know what it is. That was an idea I had. But again, I don't know. <laughs> That's why I was saying like, oh, that makes total sense because they had that scene where Carol, like where she was breaking down and crying. And, you know, mm-hmm. if you take into account like, oh, if she knew that the girls did it, like she was crying because like, oh, I taught them to be this way. Yeah, you know? like, exactly. Like she felt yeah. guilty over that. Like, oh, that makes total sense. Because the only other person I thought that might have been, you know, doing something like that would have been his name, Bob, the alcoholic. Because wasn't oh. he like a medic or something in the in the army, I mm-hmm. think? But then I'm like, well, but him and Carol have no interaction, so it wouldn't, you know what I mean? That doesn't really add up. I mean, her and the girl don't totally add up either, but that was just an idea, because I just, I feel like Carol isn't, I feel like Carol's covering, or not telling the truth. Yeah, that's that's a good, because she, he was like, did you kill them? She's like, yes. You know, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like walked away. Like you're so. not telling the mm-hmm. truth. And Daryl seems so adamant that um, that she didn't do it, or what? What was he saying? Like when they were talking about it, oh, was mad. I don't. Oh remember. no, he was adamant that she because uh, he was saying like, oh yeah, she's strong, whatever. And he's like, oh no, you know, she she's. I, I forgot what he was saying though. Like, he, was, <laughs> he, was, he was disagreeing with with Rick over something. Yeah, yeah. About Carol, I but think he, he didn't was disagreeing, like saying that like no, she wouldn't. Uh, she wouldn't do that. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, you know what I don't like um, <laughs> is that uh, our group now, our prison crew, is all separated. Yeah. Into little subgroups. I hope the next half of the season isn't. Oh, this week is Daryl and Beth. Oh, next week yeah. is Rick and Carl. You know what I mean? Mm. Like. Um, what show? Uh, True Blood. Remember True Blood yeah. used to have all the characters would somehow be fixed in, in into, mm-hmm. you know, whatever some story was going on. Um, and now the show, I mean, they brought it back a bit in this last season, mm-hmm. but for a really long time, it was so um, segmented, you mm-hmm. know, and none of the characters interacted. And I don't like that. When you have an ensemble show, that's the point. It's an ensemble show. I want to see yeah. some, not that everybody has to do everything with everybody, but. You know, that's um, I'm worried about that now. I um I don't think the baby is dead. No, no. I think somebody grabbed her. So I think that there's blood in there because some walkers had already eaten some people and then they were sniffing it or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Or whoever grabbed from. her could have been injured or yeah. just had blood on their hands. So or I don't believe that for a second. No, and not then, at all. There's um, no body. Yeah. So no. <laughs> I mean, it's a little baby. So if they had eaten it, it probably would be gone. But you would see bones there. W- there or, would yeah. be remains or something. So, but I I got a little emotional when like you know they were like oh no and then uh, Carl actually like started shooting and was just started crying all of a sudden mm-hmm. and I was like oh you know, yeah. his baby sister you know? oh fuck kid yeah he's <laughs> having a rough childhood Rick man got his got his ass handed to him <laughs> Rick <laughs> needs a new shirt <laughs> yeah. I cannot take his shirt it's so gross <laughs> I should think like you don't I don't remember seeing them doing laundry or things so like do they have clean underwear and I feel like he's the only person that never changes him and Daryl don't ever change their shirt but Rick's shirt looks so grody yeah, like I can't like, take ew, it like, imagine the smell <laughs> yeah like i just threw up in my mouth a little bit. yeah a little bit a little bit a little queasy now but yeah so yeah, super gross oh god yeah and like nobody can shave or or brush their teeth mm-hmm. <laughs> well yeah they might have to i always wonder about that how like rick and daryl and everybody doesn't have a full beard but that herschel had a full beard like so how are they shaving i mean is daryl taking his knife and just <laughs> daryl would <laughs> yeah that's, i can see him doing that you know getting some suds and just doing the old but why doesn't he knife. trim his bangs then because yeah, he has that rakish look about him when he has a bang. <laughs> yeah i guess so yeah were you worried about daryl when that uh when he was shooting and that guy the the walker was coming mm-hmm. up behind him and like grabbed him, was like <gasps> i was a little worried I, I it's hard to say because his character is such a fan favorite and Mm -hmm. I'm totally you know I'm for Daryl I like him too but I feel like he's pretty safe Mm -hmm. for quite a while Um, like him Rick Carl and uh, I'd say him Rick and Carl are pretty Mm -hmm. safe for a while Uh, I don't see them killing any of them because like if Daryl dies not that I'd stop watching the show but I'd be like "Eh." be pretty pissed off yeah sure. yeah because it's i only really like a couple characters on there i was expecting maggie to die like, oh really kill because um they just had like oh he finally was getting better and stuff and then mm-hmm. they hugged and stuff and he was like let me come with you she's like no stay on the bus you're weak you know yeah so they were kind of <laughs> setting it up i thought for sure and then he would feel guilty like mm-hmm. i couldn't save her you know now she i forget now she didn't make it back on the bus right so she's not with the bus group no she went to find her sister right so... is she with her sister 
remember. See, I don't remember where, who with. she's with because I think Daryl and is Beth she with are together. The other, what's his name? The guy that needed a Snickers. <laughs> Tyrese. <laughs> Tyrese. Is she with Tyrese, Tyrese is with the girls. The two girls. Okay. Oh, that's right, because they saved him by shooting. Right, the girl. Yeah. right, exactly. And then I don't, is Michonne by herself? Because she was right near Rick. I don't get like what happened there that I they got so separated. I think with Rick. Maybe. Okay, they see, I was hoping she was with Daryl, but, Darryl, but yeah. no. That would be nice, yeah, the whole... <laughs> them like, by the themselves, posted, like, yeah. <laughs> they need to hook up. <laughs> yes. We need to think of a, of a cool name. They have all this the violence and everything. Like we need to have a little. Uh, a little I mean, romance. They, had, they had a little romance with the stupid governor and his his girlfriend or whatever she was. But stupid like, ass that, Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> well, that no, I mean, but the uh, the mom of the the new Penny. As I, call it. I don't care about them. Like yeah, it was it was three brunettes. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know anything. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was a little shocked, though, like, when the, the thing came out of the ground and, and, and bit the little girl. I was like, oh, geez, like, yeah. I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, so, I, but at the same time, I'm like, you're a dumbass for leaving your daughter all yeah. the way over there and, like, not watching her either. Is that why she shot him in the end? Like, he was still laying there and she shot him in the head or whatever? I guess. Because he, like, you know, she had told him that she didn't want to do this at the very beginning. And because he had left, like, the mm-hmm. little girl had gotten, you know, Oh, bitten. yeah, probably. And then. so I thought I was expecting something more after. After she came up and had the dead little girl in her arms, and mm-hmm. he just came up and he just shot her. Yeah, but I was like, I, bam, I was expecting done. him to like freak out. <laughs> yeah, 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 me too. Like, ah, and just shoot everybody. Yeah, just like, start did shooting a, randomly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and did but, you see at the end when they show they were showing all the just the zombies walking, and there was that one woman who was in the the long coat who who Rick ran into in the woods, like in the earlier part of the mm-hmm. season. She was like crazy. Remember? Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, that's a lady. So she's oh, a zombie I didn't now. See her. Oh no. yeah, yeah. I I only remember because she had like that long coat and like hmm. a dress on or whatever. Well, that's interesting. Oh yeah, not that it really matters. Close up of her walking or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and okay. at first I'm like, who? Oh, that's that lady. Do you think that has any significance? I think it's just showing that she is a zombie now. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, wrapping up that storyline. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I like the mid-season finale. I think that they need to um, lessen the season orders for the show. I think they should bring it down to like 10 or something because I'm just, I'm sick of these filler episodes that happened mm-hmm. last season and it's happening again with this season. Mm-hmm. So I'd rather have like six fantastic episodes as opposed to 12 ones where I'm getting bored halfway through. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Like, I like the show, but it's pissing me off a little bit. I mean, I see why they did it. They wanted the, us to see that he had found, like, another family that he cared about or the, another little girl to replace his other little girl. But, like... They could have done that in one yeah, episode. Yeah, they didn't have to do Or half an thing. episode. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I don't know. So, but yeah, it was definitely a good, like, you know, with the action and stuff. It mm-hmm. was a good... I'm, I'm glad the governor's dead because he was such an... <laughs> such a jerk man We're and they were standing on top of thing, like oh well you have until sundown to leave and he's like you guys ruined everything <laughs> i was waiting for rick because he was just there i was waiting for him to like stomp his foot and be like that's not fair well then he was like i don't make decisions anymore it's yeah. like you're coming off as such a pansy yeah. just take care of this i don't i don't really particularly like rick all that much he just gets on my nerves a bit yeah, he can't handle the pressure he can't but like he's he makes like executive decisions and leaves carol out by herself you know yeah. so <laughs> oh you know i just remembered we haven't seen the um the guy you know we saw the lady with the leg that was messed up and the, yeah, the zombies he like her. just disappeared yeah. i don't even remember what he really looked like i know he was blonde yeah but the, the hippie he thing. was the hippie guy yeah. yeah so he'll come back at some point we got a yeah, whole half season like why else would they have him there and then disappear like okay something happened with this guy mm-hmm. so. him and carol become an item <laughs> yeah, maybe she him. i don't know i have no idea and then like they run into daryl and be like what what I really well yeah I was afraid that Daryl was going to go out searching for her so we'd have yeah. Daryl out by himself forever mm-hmm. and I, I didn't want that either um, and I'm wondering if they have like a <clears throat> excuse me a, a meetup like a backup point where they're all going to go to or are they all just running aimlessly through the woods well now? I mean they had the bus at, like as a backup so, like, so I'm sure they had an emergency like I would think so and I really so, hope that they yeah. do so oh, we'll no. see we have till february Gosh. i don't even know when but yeah i guess that'll be like after super bowl and mm-hmm. valentine's day and all that oh, shit God. <laughs> yeah exactly about, like, yeah the things with super bowl. <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah i we forgot about walking dead so we yeah. threw that in there um let me see uh sons is the finale for the the what is it sixth season is tuesday night and I think it might be two hours. It's wow. either two hours or an hour and a half. And I think every episode this season has been an hour and a half long. Like I said, I have no idea what's going to happen. There's a storyline going on. I don't really like it. But hey, 
who knows what's going to happen. I'm just curious to see. And then, uh, yeah, next season will start in September. And that's the last season mm. of my favorite show. So it'll be seven seasons seven. total? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Well, I got some catching up to do. <laughs> you'll you'll be fine. Because, I mean, it's, it's, it's either 12 or 13 episodes per season. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it's 22 or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, that's ending. Uh, Walking Dead had their mid-season finale. Scandal had their mid-season finale this last week, but I haven't watched that yet. I heard it was good, though, and it looked really good. And Homeland, I think there's like two episodes left, and then that season's over also. Mm-hmm. Um, now, Almost Human, that, that I would think that will probably, I don't know if they're going to go on a break, you think, or maybe like a two-week break, but I don't see them having a really long break for I the know holidays. I was looking through to record it, and they didn't have any like stuff for this coming Monday. Like, normally oh, okay. they would list it, and I'd be able to record it, but mm. no. They didn't have okay. anything, so I don't think they have one this coming week. And then what about Sleepy Hollow? I don't really know about that either. <laughs> I just kind of, <laughs> um, because I know I have it set up to record, so I was like, oh yeah, there's no episode. Okay, let me watch that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so how's that show going? It uh, actually is getting a little better because uh-huh. they, they've been having some semi big twists, you uh-huh. know, in, in recent episodes. Like they explain why Katrina is where she is, who the horseman really is, like who he was before he became the horseman, mm-hmm. um, which is kind of dumb how who that was. Like, oh, really? 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 Kind of made it like into a, a love thing. Oh, I read um, that they're going to have. I read who they. I read that they had cast an actor that I really like to play Ichabod's father. Has he shown up on the show yet? No. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. He's Mm-mm. the guy. He's Victor Garber. He's the guy from Titanic. He's the one who made, you know, built the Titanic. Uh, he stayed and went down with the ship. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, he. Oh, okay. I know who you're talking about. He also played on <laughs> on the Legally Blonde. Yes. Right. Yeah. He yeah. Yeah. Actor. I really like him. Yeah. He's he's a great actor. Mm-hmm. He's also on. <laughs> Why am I thinking all these dumb movies? And things? It was also, and well, not dumb, but silly movies. Um, yeah. In uh, Cinderella. Cinderella, you know, yeah. Brandy and everything. Impossible. Plain <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin. Oh, God, okay. that song. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then the latest nudes, there's some news that Igabod discovered. Like, they had some tree monster or something like that. He was in this mm-hmm. kind of house. But, um, what's her name? Um, the lieutenant, whatever. She dis- Abigail? She saw, yeah, Abigail. She saw, like, a vision of something that has to do with Katrina that mm-hmm. Ichabod didn't know about. And so this is a huge twist. That- so, okay, wait. Because I, I like that show, and I I'm think I'm going to give it the supernatural treatment where I'm going to wait and come back in, like, mm-hmm. a season or two and watch everything because I, I tend to, like, I, it's because it's following the same kind of format. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do like the show. But I feel like at some point Katrina, and you don't have to say specifically you know if i'm right or wrong but i feel like at some point katrina is gonna be you're gonna find out stuff about her where she's not that she might be like bad but she's not really on the team kind of thing because i feel like it's because i'm not getting a real big like undying love vibe between them like Mm -hmm. yeah they were married and they love each other but i feel like something's gonna come out where not that she was like cheating or anything but just something where it's going to take her out of the picture or she might go to the bad side or something like that. I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah. That's just a vibe I have. Mm-hmm. But, I'm again, still you don't wait, Yeah, I'm waiting for that to happen and I'm waiting for him and Abby to hook up. <laughs> well, see, I want him and Abby to hook up. I, I so. really do. Like, you're saying, like, and I think a lot of people do. be a good yeah, yeah, couple. exactly. Like they have good chemistry. I exactly. Think. That's another reason why I think something will happen with Katrina. I just don't know what or when mm. or anything. Um, has he changed clothes? No. <laughs> he <has not. laughs> no, he hasn't. Now that I think about it, like, nope. Same old outfit. See, I thought I'd read an article saying that he was going to, but I haven't seen it yet. Mm. He's going to like show up in a tux. They have to they're going to have to go to like a Christmas party and yeah. she's going to be all dolled up and look gorgeous and he's going to show up in a tux and look yeah. fantastic. Mm-hmm. Just his you hair wait. all done and stuff. Yeah, his hair's <laughs> going to be all pulled back and he's going to look fabulous. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, the show's going good though. I think so. I'm still interested in it. I'm not mm-hmm. like, you know, uh, I don't watch it live or anything like that. You right. Know? Yeah. I, I record it and I watch it later and I'm like, yeah, okay, it's good. You mm-hmm. know, I like these, this, this most latest twist. I mean, the actual storyline with the whole haunted house thing was kind of like, eh, okay. But mm-hmm. the actual twist in the story, I'm like, oh, okay, that's, let's we'll see where this goes, mm-hmm. you know? Because yeah. uh, it's something that she, about Katrina that he didn't know about, so she kind of withheld it from him. So, mm-hmm. wow, interesting. interesting. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, you so. know, speaking, of, I, I just want to throw this out there because I know I know you don't really watch it, but I watched the Mindy Project because mm-hmm. I just I think it's a great show. It's so funny. And they had something in the episode happen and it was so cute. And you're like, yes, yes, yes. And then they they like cut it right before the big thing that you wanted to have happen mm-hmm. happen. And I was like, no, <laughs> but it just reminded me of that. Cause you were talking about him and Katrina and stuff. The rides are like, I balked at the price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you were looking at male prostitute. Like, well, I balked at the price. <laughs> <laughs> I she, love that uh, show. She's she so funny. The lines are really funny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so. so anyway, um, I think that's like all the shows pretty much that I watch covered, mm-hmm. but, um, so saving the best <laughs> for last. Yeah. How's Suns going? Uh, How's it going in Charmin? I, yeah, I think I'm on episode eight or something like that. Like, still going with it. I'm not on season one, right? Season one. Yes. Okay. I'm yeah. Not totally in love yet, but I'm mo- I'm get more. It's and more a slow interested. burn. Yeah, it's yeah, a slow with, burn. With each episode. Uh, basically, right now, Clay met up with the uh, the Mayans leader, ah. and he's gonna sell do What's gun business Alvarez? with yeah. the guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Jax and Tara hooked back up. You know, after he killed the. Uh, the, the guy Cone or whatever, or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of hooking back up but then Gemma is interfering once again saying like I don't want you to break his heart or whatever Gemma's and she like taking her, her nose and, and so, every, yeah, yeah and now she's gonna like cause Tara to break up with Jax and uh, just yeah I don't know like why don't you just butt out yeah I just want to take Gemma and then like just push her out of the door and be like you can't come in here yeah. <laughs> you can't sit with us um, I'm having this feeling that because of the whole like okay they're dealing guns like I'm having like somebody's gonna die I think mm, like, okay so, like one of the Sons of Anarchy people are gonna die or something. Oh, okay one of the members because they had all these kind of minor people get killed and yeah stuff, like, yeah I, like some gonna shake it up because i'm nearing the end of the the season right so yeah I'm like okay i'm waiting for something to happen so let's see um do you have any characters besides the obvious like four you know tara mm-hmm. jacks uh Gemma and clay uh-huh. um do you have any side characters that you're really liking or do you really hate or you think aren't gonna make it or anything any any noteworthy points i like the comic relief of the prospect I think he's, yes. he's yeah, funny. Yeah, like yeah. I, I like I like him. I hope they don't get rid of him because he, they're always picking on him. I think that's mm-hmm. funny. Um, the uh, I really I don't really care about Opie. Like I don't know. He just oh, really? kind of yeah. He just kind of like oh I want to get back in. I'm like oh but then my family needs me. Oh I don't want to do that. Like yeah. You know, he just seems like okay. What are you gonna do, buddy? And then his wife is you know he's really conflicted. Him. Yeah yeah. That's just like you know. I, I don't yeah know what's Donna's going on a little annoying. I'll, I'll say and that. And what's <laughs> confusing about that is that he was he was supposed to assassinate this guy or something for as a favor for the Irishman I think. Uh huh. And so they go in and Jax is like the backup and the guy comes out and Opie like freezes. So mm-hmm. did he either. A he just couldn't do it, or B did he know the guy? Because he ended he didn't do it, so the other guy, the, the bigger guy, ended up killing him. Yeah, yeah. Well, he froze. He froze. Okay, yeah, yeah, so he couldn't do it. Okay, that's that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, oh, what's gonna happen with that? You know, because they they met all met all up at the end, and like the guy kind of nodded his head at Clay that Opie didn't. So I don't know if Clay knows that Opie couldn't. Because that it. that was a um. Didn't he he like volunteer or he was kind of adamant about doing yeah, that to get yeah, in the good graces Jack of the club? Said, right? like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. He said, no, no, I want to get my way back in. And, right. Okay. Yep. And then he couldn't do it. So like, yeah. Oh like, boy. Like, <laughs> so I don't know, that's gonna come back onto him. You know, like yeah. Oh. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't so know. it's yeah, like I said, it, it's slow going. It, it's mm-hmm. an interesting uh, storyline though. So mm-hmm. like, I'll keep watching it. You know. <laughs> You're right on track. Yeah. You're doing good. That's exactly yeah. where everybody was. They're like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I do love Clay and everything. Uh-huh. How he's such a, such a badass. Like, when the uh, the mind guy came in, he's like, I thought it was just him for questioning. And Clay's in there. And he's like, so what are we going to do? And Clay's like, what are you going to, you know, are we going to uh, shank each other? Or what, what do you think is going to happen here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, I, I can't tell you any of my favorite characters, annoyingly. Mm-hmm. Um trying to think of what i could say here who do you think's gonna die since you think somebody's gonna die who, or who, who, who do you think's on the the chopping block <laughs> it could be anyway obviously none of the four main characters mm-hmm. because what's sad is because i i've seen like posters and stuff for the mm-hmm. later seasons so i know tara isn't dead yeah <laughs> and i know Gemma and, and i mean i don't think i remember seeing clay but i know Gemma isn't dead but those um, four i mean yeah. you know they're safe so um <laughs> Maybe Opie. Yeah, I think he he probably could get killed, but I don't know. 
And then maybe uh, one of the other guys, maybe the one guy that was plugging the hole of the, the, the Irishman, you know, the, the guy, he has like neck tattoos, I think. Um, the I the Hispanic guy? I think so, yeah. Juice? Not, juice, Ju- maybe. Juice? Yeah. yeah. It's not, um, not the not, Scottish not guy. Tig. Not Tig. Not tig. No. Okay. And then yeah, who guy. else? Piney? Bobby? <laughs> I'm trying to think of all their names. Know, all these people. <laughs> but yeah. uh, he, you know, because. Um, Tara told him, like, oh, you, you probably saved his life, you know? Mm-hmm. And Gemma's like, oh, it's nice of you to say. He doesn't get very much praise. You know, <laughs> <no more praise. laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, that was juicy. I don't actually. know. It could be any one of the other lesser characters could go. So it All seems right. to be one of those shows that could sh- shake things up with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're like, we need a death. Yeah. <laughs> Our cast is too next. big. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Cool, cool. Good to hear. Oh, there's one thing, like, I saw. The de- one of the deputies hands some files to another person in the car, but mm. they didn't show the person, so mm-hmm. I wonder what's going on with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We shall see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what the files were or anything. So yeah. Like. And then um, Jax, at the very end, he was burning the body, and he, like, tossed his dad's book in there, and then he was like, oh, wait, is I like, oh. grab it? <laughs> <laughs> so I was Whoops. like, what? And, but I'm confused, like, why is he burning it? Because he doesn't agree with it anymore, or what? He's kind of jaded now? Or his now? evidence, or what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so interesting okay so let's see we're pretty much done here um what did you want to watch for next week uh i had originally wanted to watch a christmas story but mm-hmm. you said you don't have that i don't think i own that yeah. i own it and i don't feel like buying it <laughs> yeah and blockbuster <laughs> so, is and i don't now, think it's yeah. on netflix so i'll probably um wait to see if i can find that later on <laughs> or you could just wait till christmas even watch it because yeah, it plays for 24 true. hours <laughs> so i'll probably watch um a christmas vacation because um i don't remember seeing all the way through i only remember the light scene like with the, mm-hmm. all the lights in the house like, yeah laughing at that like yeah oh, that, I, I i just watched that actually that movie cracks me up it's so, so funny um i'd like to have a good comedy you know and my dad is actually coming up this weekend and he he mm-hmm. loves, you know, Chevy Chase and those movies. So, mm-hmm. um, che- Chevy, che- I don't Chevy know. Chase, no. Chevy Chase. Yeah. yeah. So, um, we, I may ask him, like, you want to watch this with me? You know, so. Cool. Be nice. Uh, I'm going to watch Gremlins. Um, that is a Christmas movie. Oh, really? I don't want to hear okay. anything else. Yeah, it takes place during Christmas time. So that's a Christmas movie. And I've never seen the whole thing from start to finish. Mm. So Gremlins and, uh, Christmas Vacation. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think that pretty much is everything, right? Yeah cool we're doing notes. good yeah <laughs> all right guys you know the deal deal if you want to send us any kind of information whatsoever mm-hmm. you can email us at damsels in debate at gmail.com you can go on to our website stream our episodes uh damsels in debate.com nice and easy mm-hmm. you can also follow us on twitter and like us on facebook uh just look for damsels in debate and uh we're on itunes and stitcher you can subscribe to us on there and we appreciate any kind of feedback or movie re- recommendations or funny opinions anything we mm-hmm. love it all mm-hmm. and yeah that's pretty much it so we're now into our our holiday season uh-huh. and watching these uh um holiday movies mm-hmm. so until next week have a great week bye